Okay, so if you'll notice, when we were putting links around our usernames here, which in the case of identity, they're using our email address, and we can actually change that here in a minute. Um, but you'll notice that we'll be looking at creating a profile controller with a detail view. So let's kind of start there. All right, so I'm just gonna stop the server, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a profile controller. All right, so let's go right into creating our detail action result. And we're actually just gonna take a string ID, which will be our user ID. And then you can imagine that we wanna get a user ID back from our database so that we can construct another view model here to put out on this page. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create our constructor. So I'll control period on profile controller and we'll change the constructor to public. And we're gonna need a few different things injected into this controller. So we'll go ahead and write those out now. So we'll need a user manager. Again, this is provided by identity. So we'll control period to bring that in. And we'll bring in our application user entity model as well. And then what I'm gonna do is create a new service here actually which will implement an iApplication user interface. And this will be our user service. We're gonna go ahead and actually need to create this. Um, first, we'll just go ahead and fill out the uh, constructor here. And while we're at it, might as well just go ahead and let you know that we'll be building one more service here, and this will be our upload service. And we're gonna use this to actually upload our profile image to the cloud. So now we definitely have some files to create here. So let's go ahead and do that. So in our service layer, we're gonna create these two services. First one will be our application user service. And the next one will be our upload service. So then in our data layer, we'll go ahead and add these new interfaces that the services will implement. So in one case, iApplication user, and we'll go ahead and make this public, and we'll add another one will be I upload and we'll make this public as well of course okay so let's think about our application user service first because this one will be a little bit larger well we'll have an application user and we'll control period to bring our data models into play and We'll have our typical get by ID method. And then we'll have the case where we have the enumerable collection of these application users, which can be our get all method. And then, you, you know, we can have many more methods in here. We could have methods to deactivate users if they get, say, banned from the forum or something. We could even write methods to add users if we were gonna do it through some other type of administrative utility, maybe. We could have something here like a task to set the user's profile image. And we'll look at how to implement this uh, very shortly. Uh, but in this case, it's actually gonna take a, a string for the user ID and then a URI for, um, for which we need to bring in the system namespace. And for task, we need to bring in threading. 
And maybe the next thing that we'll have in here is also the ability to bump a user's rating. So we could say, we could have a task here to say like increment rating. And we'll pass the user ID again here. Um, we can just call it ID. And then the way that I'm gonna handle this is actually, we're also gonna pass it a type. Um, and you may be wondering why, um, but the reason for this is, and we'll look at this again in just a few moments. But what I'd like to do is to have a very simplistic rating system in which we increment a user's rating based on whether or not they're submitting a post type or a post reply type. And then we'll handle the amount of incremental rating that that user receives based on that type. So um, just some kind of like fun logic we can, we can play with um, with this type of method. Okay, so let's go ahead and implement our iApplication user interface in our user service here. And so we've seen a number of different services now, so I'm gonna kind of breeze through this one a little bit more quickly um, without explaining quite as much, but this should be very similar um, to other services that we've created. Create the constructor. And then if we want to get by ID here, we can just get all and then call first or default. Where the user ID is equal to the ID that we pass this method. And we'll worry about the increment rating here a little bit later. And now as for set profile image, the way this is gonna work is we'll get the user um, just by their ID. And then we'll say their profile image URL is equal to the absolute URI that we're gonna pass this method. And we'll look at the fact that we get this back from and we'll look at how we actually get this back from Azure Blob Storage here in a little while. But then we mark the user as updated and then just save changes. Cool, so now it's a good time for a commit, probably. All right. So let's head back into our profile controller now. And we should be able to control period to resolve some of these um, usings. All right. So now on our profile detail, we will indeed be returning a model. And that model will be a new profile model. So let's go ahead and create that. So that's gonna be in our models directory in our web, directory in our web project. And I'm gonna create a new folder for them. 
actually we'll just call it application user here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and create two models. One which will be a profile model and another which will be um, just simply a profile list model. And so in our profile model, we'll have a user ID email a username user rating profile image URL And then we'll have a date time for when the, like we'll call it member since. Um, so this would be set when a user actually joins. And then I'm going to also include this iForm file field called image upload. And we'll get and set that here. We're just going to include this with the profile model. And we'll bring in ASP.NET Core HTTP. And we'll look at how we're going to use that, but this is actually going to make uploading images from a form uh, very easy for us. <clears throat> 